What's up, YouTube? Children Hearts 2 here, back for another Transformers vi of interview. Today we'll be reviewing Transformers G1 Astral Train. Um, uh, very excited to get him. You know, Astral Train is one of my favorite characters in, in the G1 cartoon. And, and I li uh, literally got this yesterday as a Christmas present from uh, from the owner uh, from the uh, who owns Time Bomb, which is a which is the store I, I bought uh, been buying G1 Transformers. And eighties GI Joe figures from him, so he literally get you know brought uh, brought this brought Astro Train out of his truck and just hand it over and and then of course I had to buy it for twenty dollars because he he had a business to run. But uh, I'm very and it's I again you know, just get just gave it to me as a Christmas present. Yeah, from our reading to the loyal customer. Now, how how many of the big companies can do that, uh, or I I mean, or online sites? Yeah. Anyways, uh, uh, Astro Train is one of the uh, original trouble changers. What we mean by that is that this, uh, yeah, that they can transform into two vehicle models instead of one, and 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 also and still transform into a robot. Yeah, what well, all we mean about true triple changers, as many of us mm, uh, collectors and reviewers uh, refer as, uh, we mean a, a, a transformer can transform into two believable vehicle modes, not what like uh, Hasbro does today, as uh, you know, make one, uh, one you know, realistic vehicle mode and make and, and a great looking robot and make up a silly. Uh, Fan mode and it's called mm, a triple changer uh, to uh, in order to sell the toy. But uh, yeah, but uh, but uh, like uh, Revenge of the Fall, Mace Master, quote unquote, cannon mode. Yeah, uh, which, uh, which was basically a robot you know, bent on his knees. And uh, with a get with a cannon attached to his back. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, well we want uh, all we want for trip. Well, we, when we look for a triple changers, this is what we mean: two believable vehicle modes. Yeah. This is Astro Train. He is a. This is his first mode. This is a uh, locomotive. Yeah, not train because it's. Yeah, that's a locomotive. Uh, a train is a uh, is you can count. Uh, both the the, the locomotive a and the cars uh, that that is pulling. Uh, that's uh, that will be a train. Yeah, well, uh, without the cars, this is this is just a locomotive. And uh, yeah, this is and uh, very very good detail uh, for G one. You can see uh, you can see you can see some windows. Uh, although he can, although he's can, uh, although he's got full of panels, but this is G one. Uh, why why you got details of uh, of the train wheels, uh, the locomotive wheels. Now with the piston that, that rolls them, although uh, not quite aligned. But like I said, it's G one. Yeah, I mean all these details does make it look like a real locomotive. Now. Yeah, and, and of course, my, of course, mine is, of course, my figure is showing some wear, some some of that die cast metal, uh, for uh, for the, uh, the boiler, it uh, is rubbing off some scrape marks on the metal right here. Uh, it was a shame, but no, but I did get him a lot. But is but it is a twenty year toy. Still, but the rest of them is still in very good condition. Yeah, now they give it, give uh, now in the cartoon. Uh, this is uh, this is probably the uh, one, uh, one of Astro Train's uh, you know work you know, you know useless alt modes because uh, hardly ever uh, uh, hardly ever get uh, get to see Astro Train transform into this. Uh, but when when he does, sometimes he uh, sometimes he drives on on rails. 
Yeah, like a real locomotive. Yeah, or, or other times he uh, he uh, he uh, he'll, uh, he'll drive on on the surface of the moon, or uh, uh, or Autobot City, or uh, or a uh, or a jungle of an alien planet. Yeah, uh, of course uh, these uh, of course those are surfaces you won't uh, have a real look. Or left won't, won't venture in do uh, yeah but maybe well maybe for the Decepticon who are aren't concerned about damaging the wheels of uh, 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 a million a million dollar locomotive a uh, machine yeah you know, like a train company uh, like a train company would yeah uh, 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 it would yeah uh, it, it would work Yeah, plus, plus it's also a cartoon. Yeah, of course, of course he does have fake wheels. He, he does roll with these you know, little wheels on the bottom. Yeah, as you can see, roll, rolls pretty well in this mode. I, I just see one of the pa panels pretty loose on mine. I have trouble pegging in. Now I'll give you a si uh, size of that's Strange uh, locomotive bow. Yeah, here he is next to hmm, uh, next to Rumble. As you see, he's brought lo uh, longer than Rumble is. But but for but for a G1 uh, with uh, so many vehicles were tiny back then. Back then, back then, this is a uh, this is a big vehicle mode. Now the transform uh, asked the train to his second vehicle mode, which is. Yeah, his space shuttle. First thing you want to do is uh, flip up these panels right here. Flip panels right here. And flip these up. And it will lock into place. And then turn this around. Now flip this out. Now flip. Yeah, flip these wings out. Yeah, ne uh, next you open these pin. Uh, next you take this piece. Yeah, oh, uh, the slightest end that's what form the forms the tail of the shuttle. And you open. And next you uh, open these. Untap these panels. Yeah, the, these these lock in very very good. So uh, yeah, so you want to be uh, see those little tabs. Yeah, you want to be careful not to break those off. Uh, they they kind of latch uh, kind of latch on this figure very very tight. And you have to take the shuttle and push it in. Yeah. 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 See, it's showing. Uh, see, yeah, it's all stiff. Hasn't been transformed in a while. Yeah. Uh, that. Then you just. Uh, well, uh, retab the other two panels on place, and then, uh, ladies and gentlemen, here we have actual train in a, in a spaceship mode. Cor uh, course is not very uh, cartoon accurate. Mm, uh, uh, well, uh, not not too car uh, cartoon accurate colors with the white. Of course, actual train was mo well, mostly purple in the uh, in the cartoon, but. No, but well, I do. I do love the color scheme. You know, the, yeah, his tr uh, his locomotive, mo Australian locomotive modes, but by far the most uh, cartoon accurate of his uh, of his modes. Uh, but yeah, I, I but you know, but I do love the color scheme with the purple, you know, with the black and the white. Yeah, very, uh, yeah, yeah, very very cool looking. Yeah, and, and yeah, and if you watch the cartoon series, yeah, uh, this is uh, this is the alt mode. Astro Train is most um, is uh, mostly transforms into because it's the most useful. Yeah, as it, as he's a he's often uh, uh, often used a transporter or uh, shipping cargo. Yeah, sometimes sometimes he he ships uh, energon cubes for uh, for the Decepticons, and other times he he could. He can also probably transport 
as all the Decepticons can ride in sight, you know, his space shuttle mode, uh, and he'll take uh, take it or anywhere uh, anywhere in space or uh, anywhere anywhere the Decepticons want to go. You know, from yeah, from Cybertron to you know Saturn to you know, you know Junkion, whatever. Yeah, right. It, it, interesting thing. Uh, uh, Interesting that uh, Ash String in robot mode is about the size of uh, <sighs> sound uh, sound uh, size of Soundwave and Starscream or Thrust. Uh, but when he transforms into a space shell mode, or sometimes as a tra as a locomotive, he kind of doubles in size. He's one he's one of the he's one of the uh, he's one of the transformer that suffers massive lacing. Although uh, Astro Train probably you know, probably is a wor uh, suffers the worst, as it, it was one scene in Transformers the movie where yeah uh, he uh, he uh, he's uh, he demands all the Decepticons top out the exit cargo so he'd be lining up to uh, make it uh, make it uh, fly it into Cybertron. Yeah, of course. A after they toss out their cargo, which are, you know, Megatron, the Anticons, you know, Thundercracker, and Skywarp, and out of war, the Anticons started to uh, fight who becomes the the next leader of the Decepticons after Megatron. One scene is that I have all the all the Decepticons as forms, you know, Devastator in inside Astral Train. It, in his shuttle mode. Uh, I mean, I mean, uh, one, one episode, one G one episode where he, where uh, Astro Train is fighting Omega Supreme. Omega Supreme is grass. Mm. Yeah, his special modes uh, with one, uh, one, uh, with one arm, and just throws in his thing. Now, Devastator being, you know, being the same size as Omega Supreme, transforming. Uh, of all the construction cons and combined into Devastator, which is about the same size as Mega Stream, can fit inside his, his mm, space shell mode. Yeah, it really didn't really didn't not make sense at all. Especially if uh, and, and there's also a couple of scenes of in the cartoon series where he's where he fights, mm, yeah, you know, where he fights the Autobots with the other seven guns in there. Jet modes. Yeah, uh, his shell almost usually the size of, usually the size of Starscream or Thundercrackers. So yeah, he uh, yeah he mm, he suffers from. Uh, uh, he uh, Astro Train's by far the wor uh, worst transformer. He suffers from you know, increasing size as he transforms. Yeah, but uh, but yeah, this, uh, this is. A, yeah, very nice alt mode. A very nice alt mode. You can see uh, clear and nice. Mm, uh, all kinds of detail of, uh, of his cockpit. And you can a nice uh, windshield, nice nose cone underneath. And all over the back, you see nice detail uh, on the thrusters. Yeah, and, and we, yeah, like I said, uh, what we mean about true triple changes, this is what we mean. Uh, a, a train turning transforming into a space shuttle. Mm. Yeah, uh, surprise! They couldn't uh, surprise the modern transformers can't do that with all the complex transformations. Mm, sad. A anyways, the transform and do a size comparison. Bring out, hey, you know, Thundercracker here. As you see, he's, uh, you know. Yeah, as the Astro Train is pretty small compared uh, compared to him, but in cartoon accuracy, it's pretty good in scale. Yeah, between the two. Now, <sighs> now, now the transform Astro Train to his uh, the robot mode. First, you flip off this panel down and flip off this co cockpit back in. You know, you want to, uh, yeah, you want to split these legs. Then you, uh, then you pull these out to form the legs. Yeah. Now, uh, next you take this little finger. You want to be, 
This is the part you want to be careful of is these arms. His yeah, are very flimsy. And I, I seen the actual train figure I, I, I had his arms broken off, so very uh, very careful of the arms here. Yeah, see these his arms are so are attached to this little tiny ball joint where it's could easily snap off. Yeah, so he's very careful of this figure. Yeah. Yeah, you know, same thing. So I flip this. These arms right here. And all the chair, uh, of course, in the chest. You flip this out. Open, open this wings. Well, uh, form the chest, and and you, now uh, and open this out. Uh, to reveal the robot head. And ladies and gentlemen, here you have Astro Train. Yeah, in his robot mode. Yeah, again, not uh, uh, he doesn't have G, uh, G1 purple. And a lot of collectors do, do complain do complain about. That's it. But this is G1. Yeah, the toys did came out with a, this toy did came out. This was released for Astro Train made a cartoon appearance. So, so he gotta be uh, gotta be more fair than that. Yeah, the rest of them looks perfect, of course. No, of course, if you want to make them more cartoon accurate. Yeah, the, yeah the, this is actually the, the official transformation uh, for Astro Train, but if you want to make them cartoon accurate, just flip this you know, wings in. Try to, yeah, I'll try to slide this and push it back. Yeah, and that's pretty. That's pretty much how Astro Train looked in the cartoon. Yeah, you know, very, uh, very good looking Robo Mode. I mean, I mean, if you ignore, if you ignore the color, yeah, he is. He is pretty accurate to the cartoon. Yeah, you know, with having a, yeah, having uh, the space shell wings, former soldiers. Yeah, you know, to having his you know, backpack on. Uh, uh, above his head. Although, although in the cartoon they kind of cheat at having the uh, shuttle, the uh, space shuttle's fin on, on his back, which of course you can't, of course you can't do on the G1 toy. And of course my, my uh, what? And of course his leg is severely, uh, is pretty loose on my figure. And of course I don't have any of Astro Train's guns. Yeah, but I think, but I think you can hold this. Yeah, he can. Uh, he can hold one of the uh, Transformers Prime Cybers weapons very nicely, and, and yeah, it, lo it looks pretty good on him since his, uh, since his more scale. Yeah, I know. I know. Astro. I know the gun Astro Train's supposed to come with is about about bigger than the robot itself. Uh, but yeah, th this is more. Yeah, I like this look better. Yeah, that, yeah. If you like to, uh, if you want, if you want the, uh, you know, if you want your G1 figures to look more modern. Yeah, get like then give them a, yeah, give them a a, a a weapon from a from a newer Transformer. Have them hold it. Yeah, very uh, very sleek, and I re I really do like this head sculpt, face sculpt. Yeah, though not not. Cartoon accurate, but I do like the nose and the mouth. Yeah, his chest. Yeah, yeah. This what this by color. This by color. Yeah, he is. He is pretty accurate to the cartoon, which is good. Uh, thing now. Let's give you a size comparison. Let's bring out. Yeah, dirt here. As you see, compare. As you see, Astro Train is pretty small. Yeah, you know, but you know, but still okay figure. Yeah, yeah, that is pretty, and I think that's pretty much it for my video review for him. Yeah, and, and yeah, and all, and also for freeing the chest, kind, kind also helps. Uh, also helps the articulation where. It is. 
uh, the wing chest thing, what would have, uh, get, uh, or be, out, uh, or be in the way of the arms. But now, now that this is folded in, yeah, you can, have, uh, yeah, you could get more articulation from the arms. So yeah, for as far as far as G1 characters, yeah, this is what this is one of the best uh, uh, G1 figures uh, that ever came out. Yeah, and what and one of the best robot modes, and and and, and really uh, fi uh, figure figures like uh, Blit like Astral Train and Blitzwing are the gold standard. What we think of you know real you know triple changers. It'll be not uh, it's the same. Yeah. Yeah. If you, uh, if you find uh, find this figure, uh, that's uh, that's peak of all. Especially if you're a G, if you're a true G1 Transformers fan. Yeah, and they, they, and these toys are uh, are still collectible. Mm. Yeah, as a uh, mm. yeah, yeah, these toys are still uh, are still look cool even even for the modern figures. Yeah, no, that's pretty much it for a video view for you know, Asshole Drain. If you liked this video, please throw in the description. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.